Hello friends, it's Rachel Archelaus here. You know, it's kind of a strange thing to think about, but often we are not letting ourselves exist. We are holding ourselves back from bringing our true personality out, our true energy, letting that unfold, and really stepping into what we want, what we desire, and what we want our life to look like. I know I am still working on this as well. In fact, I just had a pretty big revelation the other day that I shared in my Sephiris group, and I talked to one of the members today, and she's like, yeah, duh, I knew that about you. But as we grow and as we engage with this new energy on the planet, new things are gonna pop up into us, and it's not that we didn't necessarily know that about ourselves before, but now we're integrating it. It's finally landing. We're actually grounding more of our own high dimensional energy every single moment of every single day. And the more we allow that to happen, the more epiphanies and amazing things that are gonna happen for us. So this question, do you allow yourself to exist? Feel that for a second, right? Say to yourself, I exist. And you'll probably feel this kind of unfurling, unfolding of your energy. It's really cool. And the more you can feel into the subtleness of your energy, of existing, of how your energy feels in different parts of your life, what it feels like with different people when you're doing different kinds of jobs, that's really how you're going to know where you want to put more focus. Lately I've been feeling into a lot of things and really taking an inventory of where I'm happy in my life, where this energy is calling me to kind of spend more focus, to spend more time, and it's really radically changed how I spend my day and even how I run my business, which is so exciting. The more we feel into our own existence, the more we really see how much we've been holding ourselves back. And a lot of that is because of shame, it's because we're cutting ourselves off from the things that we want because we think they're not good enough. We think they're outside the realm of possibility or we think that we won't be a good person if we do that. We're really living into all of these judgments that we have that we really didn't even know were there. I know for me, I keep uncovering judgments that I've had that I didn't know were there. And so even if you are on top of your game energetically, you're really good at knowing yourself keep going, keep playing, keep deepening yourself. You're going to find new levels of freedom in letting go of these judgments. We are able right now to rewrite the rules of our existence, to rewrite the rules of our lives. And there are no boundaries anymore. Really, we're, we're the only ones creating boundaries. And when you run into things that you desire, that you want, that seem a little shaky or like shameful or strange, really try to find a way to be honest about it and communicate them with someone so that you can feel how you feel about them. Uncover where it's uncomfortable or where you feel blocked and then work on it. Send that area of you love, send it healing, send it whatever it needs. You can talk to it and ask it what it needs. The structures that we're living in are changing and it's really up to us to take the charge out of them, to dismantle them. And we do that by asserting our wants and needs that are different from the norm. So for example, I've been in this relationship experiment for the last year and a half and really working with my partner on what I want and what feels truthful to me. And the more honest I am with him, honestly, the more he's on board. This is also true for work. I've been in work situations where I've been honest and I've been able to change my hours or really accomplish things that I didn't think would be able to be accomplished. You know, we often project this rigidity onto other people and onto institutions that isn't really there. We're the ones creating our reality, and so it's up to us to ask for what we want, to be honest and truthful about our own truth, and we can make space for those other people and those other institutions to change with us. It's really remarkable what is happening right now. So I wanna encourage you to play in, feel your own energy, Feel where you're stopping yourself. Feel where you're shaming yourself or you're judging. The other thing you can do 
is to take those wants and desires of what you'd like to see in your world and how you'd like to act in your world and move them down into your lower chakras. Move them all the way down into your feet, move them all the way down into the earth because then you're really grounding who you are, what you haven't been giving yourself and so much more of your energy that you're gonna start to actually physically see a difference. Right? The last thing, of course, is really embody the vibration that you're wanting to experience. Right, You can already have it now. Ask your body to give you the vibration that you're wanting. So find the feeling of what you're desiring, put it in your body, and hold on to it. Wear it. Act like you already have it. Because your body is really going to become the magnet for attracting that thing into your life, into the real world. But again, move it down. Make sure it's inhabiting your lower chakras too so that it can actually show up in your physical world. So I hope these pointers have been helpful. I hope that you're now gonna be able to think about yourself in a different way. And I know for me, you know, the energy right now is so introspective. So now is the absolute perfect time to do all this work. All right, guys, I will talk to you very soon. Lots of love, bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to intuitive art and you've never done it with me, go to intuitiveartacademy.com for your free class. You'll learn how to have a conversation with your higher self in three easy steps. That's intuitiveartacademy.com. And if you're already a pro or you've done the free class and you want to learn more about creating abundance from your purpose, Go to workyourpurpose.com and you'll watch a free video series all about what it takes to create a purposeful income from doing what you love. Alright, enjoy and I will see you later. Bye bye.